All right, another episode of Runs Driven In, presented by Coke. I'm here with Ryan Zimmerman. We're going to drive around the greatest city in the world, and you're going to see a side to Ryan maybe you haven't seen before. So, Ryan, thanks for joining us, man. No problem. Thanks for having me. This is, uh, I have to say, I've never been interviewed in a car before. Take me through a day at your house as a father. What do you do as a father and a husband before the game? What's your daily routine like? I think when you have a family, it sort of puts things in, in, into perspective a little bit more. It's not the end of the world if things don't go well in the field that day. You go home, and I have two daughters, and you realize that life is a lot bigger than baseball. So it's been cool to kind of have that perspective that I didn't have five years ago. Wake up in the morning and, and have breakfast and try and hang out with them as much as I can before I leave for the field. Because sometimes when I leave for the field, that's the last time I see them for the day. I won't see them again until until the next morning so uh, during the season it's tricky and then the off season we're lucky we get to spend a lot of time with them it's all worth it man it's, absolutely it's what everything's all about family yeah. what's it like for you playing in dc living here growing up around here and playing in the nation's capital that your whole career for the same team when it first started happening you didn't realize how lucky you were to play in the place that you live you know three and a half hours from where i grew up obviously went to school two hours or so away. Obviously, I had to want to stay here, but more importantly, they had to want me to stay here. <laughs> Sometimes at night, I'll drive home and go through the city, and if it's a nice night, you put your windows down, you drive down Constitution, and you see all the monuments at night. And Some nights, it kind of just hits you like, man, that's pretty cool. I've been able to play here for you know a third of my life, pretty much. So the opportunities that I've had and just the people that I've met in this time, it's, uh, it's a pretty special city. I'm gonna say a name. First thing that comes to your mind. Okay. It could be one word, it could be a couple words, whatever. Here we go. Bryce. I would say intensity. That's the first word, but I think watching Bryce grow up over these six years has been unbelievable for me. The first couple years he came in as literally as a kid. The way he plays the game, yeah, I mean, intensity, I would say. Okay. Max. Work ethic. Anthony Rendon. Boring. <laughs> Trey <laughs> Turner. Speed. Juan Soto. Maturity. What does it mean to you to be the all-time hit leader for the Nats? Did you ever think, like from day one, that's a goal of mine? Is that something that that you're you're proud of? Yeah, absolutely. I think first of all, playing the big leagues for that long. Everyone thinks the hardest part is getting here. I think the hardest part is staying here. A lot of people make it here and have you know a good year or two, but it's hard to stay. And I think it takes a ton of work. It takes a ton of I guess sacrifice. I think a lot of us don't get to see our families very much. Now, these are things that, you know, we sacrifice to make sure that we can play in the big leagues for 15 years. That being said, I wouldn't change a thing. I would do it all over again and, you know, without blinking an eye. Thanks a lot for taking time out of a busy day. You hit a home run last night and we need another one out of you tonight. Awesome. This was fun, guys. I appreciate it.